Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Oh, very good. Bon good morning. Welcome to Italy. Welcome to Civita Vecchia Harbor, the harbor we are now. We are going to Rome. Rome is the capital city, but we also call it the eternal city. Uh, Rome is not so crowded today. Yeah, because it's Sunday. So our journey time will be about one hour, because we are about 80 kilometers northwest of Rome. And so we are going down south, because Rome is about one hour from here. Behind the rail, the ruins of Caracalla's bath. Caracalla was emperor from 211 AD till 217 AD. And all Roman baths had at least three pools, one for cold water, one for tepid water, and one for, for warm water. As you can see, there's a stage because during the summer, Caracalla spas are used for the, uh, the opera and ballet. It's the summer season of the Opera Theater of Rome. Also, the three tenors sung in Caracalla spa several years ago. To the right, there's a tower and a big field are the poor remains of the Circus Maximus that I told you is the largest structure ever built in the history for sports. It can host 250,000 people. The big building to the left is the FAO. We are going on top one of the seven hill, the Aventine or the Aventine. We can see better from here the remains of the Imperial Palaces on top the Palatine Hill to the right. And always to the right we can see the top of a white building with a girl with wings. Now we can see both two girls with wings in a quadriga, a chariot with four horses. That one is the Vittoriano. V-I-T-T-O-R-I-A-N-O, -T -T Vittoriano, the monument to the first king of Italy. And we can see also, and now we can see the Vittoriano, started in 1889 by Humbert I, who was inaugurated in 1911. Is the only official building of Rome with two Italian flags instead one Italian and one European Union flag. The Constantine or Constantine Arc of Triumph that was built between 312 AD 315 AD is the last Arc of Triumph built in Rome because after leaving 14 years in Rome, the Emperor Constantine left Rome for Constantinople. To the left, the Colosseum, we are going to drop off. Thank you. 
Vision's Palace. Inaugurated by Her Majesty the King of Italy, Umbert I, in 1882. Q, is, there's a big Q because it's the quadriennale. Quadriennale. Uh, every four years in the Exhibition's Palace takes place in the very Middle Ages. And we can see better the Exhibition's Palace. Inaugurated in 1882. It belongs to the city of Rome. Naparte. On top of the palace to the left, we can read Napoleon's last name, Bonaparte. Because this page building with the eagle on the facade is Bonaparte Palace, Palazzo Bonaparte. Because there lived Madame Mer. That's unique because it's former papal palace, former royal palace since 1946 is presidential palace in the same apartments lived the popes then the kings of italy and since 1946 the presidents of italy so it's unique there's, it's, there's no other building like the criminale and like it's very strange that the republic choose this square like republic square they, they, it, it, the, the original name was Exedra Square because these buildings have the shape of an Exedra, a semicircular building of the Roman bar.
only this side, to the other side, in the first centuries of Roman history, there were the Etruscans. And this is the Tiber River, from where comes my name, Tiberius. In Latin, Tiber is the river, Tiberius is my name. And straight where the antenna is, that one is already the Vatican City State where we are going anymore is an independent country the smallest in the world the smallest ever existed is smaller than in, than a district to the right St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican <laughs> so the area of the Vatican City State is only 0.44 squared kilometers it means smaller than half square kilometer. The inhabitants are only 850. So it's
And inside the smallest country of the world, there's the largest church of the world, St. Peter's Basilica. Inside the Vatican City State, there are almost 60,000 works of art, not all visible. Quando ritorna la luna li porta con sé. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain speaking from the bridge. Well, the last of the five passengers are back on board. I was going to give them another five minutes and then I had to go because it is a fast run for tomorrow. Anyway, they're back on board and uh, we are now just waiting for the pilot to board. And as soon as on board, we start to let go, move off the berth, and then uh, we'll be straight ahead and then uh, hard to port. As soon as uh, we are outside then, we have to clear the, the traffic lane that uh, mark the entrance of Civita Vecchia. We will then cross the Tyrrhenian Sea towards the Straits of Bonifacio. Strait of Bonifacio is a strait that is approximately five miles wide and is uh, the stretch of water which separates Corsica to the north and Sardinia to the south. We'll be transiting around uh, 2 o'clock uh, in the morning. If you are around the end of the time, land will be visible. 
Well, tomorrow we'll be approaching our anchorage uh, out of the port uh, of Alghero early in the morning and we will start the tender service uh, shortly after uh, 7 o'clock. Well, uh, I hope you enjoy your day short, quite a hot day, especially for those of you who went down in uh, Rome. But uh, I'm sure you're back on board in the, your nice home with a nice fresh air conditioning. Again, tonight uh, I'll have the staff captain driving, so once again, fast the seatbelt as the co-pilot is driving out. Quite an interesting thing as well, just before I let you go, is uh, it is a uh, rules uh, here in, uh, in the port of Civita Vecchia that we cannot use uh, our thrusters, the stern thrusters. This is due to the fact that the, per the bird here, the dock is uh, so old that uh, using the thruster will damage the underneath part of it. So we need to have a tag to pull us out. I'm sure you have noticed even all the other ships had to use one. So anyway, as soon as we pull out a few meters, then we will go ahead. Well, once again, I hope you enjoy your day here. And uh, again, tomorrow looks like it's going to be another nice day in Alghero. Thank you.